think all of Hoover, just about all of Hoover here uh, today in support of Leonard have been real partners in this journey that you and Noe started on all those years ago. And I'm so grateful for your friendship over the years and for you know, all of the ways that uh, you've been you know, supportive of me. And it's always a pleasure to be with Leonard and Doe. You just feel like you're you know, with family. And I think that's the way the people in this district feel about them, too. I know that... Uh, And he takes those values that uh, really embody the best of Iowa, and he brings them right to Washington, D.C. But I especially appreciate what he just said in introducing me. This is a serious time for our country. Now, we've faced challenges in the past, and I can look out there and see people who lived through some difficult times. But we have a lot of decisions to make as a nation. You know, are we going to continue to see our economy slow down for the vast majority of Americans, because no matter what you hear from the White House today, that's what's happening. You know, average wages are stagnant. People are not getting ahead. A lot of people aren't working for employers like Dwayne and Doug who want to give their employees a shot at the American dream. And you know, the middle class of America is what made this country great. You know, I come from a middle class family. You know, from us, I was born in Chicago, grew up outside of Chicago, and I know very well the values that I was taught to believe in are really rock solid American values. Working hard, being self-reliant, taking care of your family, being independent. And as I travel around Iowa now, I'm hearing people who are worried about the future of our country. I just came from Newton, and a man said to me, he said, it just seems like the government is against us. We're the people of the United States of America, but it doesn't seem like our government really cares about us. Isn't that a sad thing for somebody to say or even think? Well, I hear that no matter where I am in Iowa or really anywhere else in the country right now. When I was growing up, I believed that not only did I have my family on my side, I had my country on my side. I thought that we were all in this together. And unfortunately, I think a lot of Americans just don't believe that anymore. They see a government that is not working very well, can't manage natural disasters, can't hire qualified people, can't hold contractors responsible, prevent corruption and cronyism. So the first thing we gotta do is get our government back. We need our government once again to be on our side. Now I know what a difference it makes who's in charge of the White House. You know, when my husband was president, we had a director of FEMA, Dwayne, who knew how to Children, you know. 
Now, I want to set some goals for our country again. But that's what we're good at. You know, we're good at setting goals and then having a plan of action and looking at the facts and then bringing people together, rolling up our sleeves and getting the job done. You know, you look all 